Hey, Bo as here from the Pedal Powered Talk Show. We're here at the Salt and Straw Ice Cream Kitchen to chat with Tyler Mallet. Let's go, Phil. They're gonna be frozen treats. The Pedal Powered Talk Show is a talk show on a bike, and you're watching it now. So your cousin Kim calls you a few years back and says, come make ice cream with me. Yeah, she didn't actually ask me. She refused to let me. It finally came down to like on the phone, like. I'm gonna work for free, I'm gonna live in your basement, and if I suck, then I'll just be the delivery driver, I don't care. <laughs> and she's like, okay, that's good enough. So was there, was there a point where you realized, like, okay, I definitely don't have to be the delivery driver? Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm still worried that my job is on the line. <laughs> so this is our R&D dungeon mm -hmm. in the back. Any random ingredient you could ever dream of is in here. So what do we got here? We have tubs of salt. Yeah, so this is from the meadow. This is chocolate, I don't know if you, so we have someone that pretty much just full-time chops chocolate. Mm -hmm. And you source your ingredients from local farmers and chocolatiers and brewers. You know, it seems like your range of ice cream in Portland and now in LA, it sort of represents the city Yeah. in a way. Thank you. There aren't any companies in the world right now that are actually like trying to grow in a way that is unique to that community. When it came time to make like a beer flavored ice cream, it instead of just like acting like I knew anything, I, we'd reach out to someone like Laurelwood Brewery here in Portland and I'd just spend a day in their brewery making beer and talking with the, the brewmasters about how they'd integrate you know, these malts into, into cream versus these malts and these hops and we kind of realized that's how we wanted to build our company. So what have been your most delicious and most disgusting ice cream related discoveries? Delicious and disgusting. You know, right now we're making uh, kimchi and rice flavor with one of our partners here in Portland, um, Koi Fusion. Mm -hmm. We're gonna figure out how to make a caramel out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be one of my favorites, I think, of all time. For every every victory that we have and every good flavor that we have, we have, you know, 20 really, really bad flavors. I've learned to avoid garlic oh. across the board. Gotcha. But uh, we're also finding, like, we're making, we're working with bugs right now. Mm -hmm. So we're making, like, a bug brittle. Really good. Really? Oh yeah. Tastes like popcorn crickets. Wow. Yeah. So this is our fridge. This is all stuff just ready to wait, waiting to go into our ice cream. Uh huh. Let's get into our freezer. There's more room there. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Don't worry. We're there is another yet. freezer, but in the side of the freezer. This is incredible. So this is our freezer. This is all ice cream waiting to go to our shops. Is it strange or surreal when you pass one of your shops and you see like hundreds of people lining up outside? It's a serious honor and it's really cool to see just like how happy people are in line and how happy people are just like being together. We've had people like get job offers in line. We've had like marriage proposals in line. Wow. We actually like replaced a flavor and said, you know, Jenny, will you marry me? So this is negative 20 in here. Mm -hmm. It's going to feel warm. Um, this is negative 45. There's another freezer inside the freezer inside the freezer. This is the best. I love this. You usually feel it's colder coming out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! After we make the ice cream, it sits in there for a little, about overnight. Uh huh. And that's where it gets like, you get like really high quality ice cream that way. Will you have your question from the ask -matic? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's see what we got here. What is the coldest temperature you've ever been in? Whoa, this is like oddly appropriate. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's not rigged? No, I didn't know this was gonna come out. The coldest temperature I've ever been in. Um, my family's from Montana. Mm -hmm. And so, first of all, I, I should preface, our freezer is negative 45 degrees. And I've been in colder in Montana. I was like eight and I was like, I'm not gonna live in Montana. Not moving here. <laughs> yeah, it was clear at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it sucked. Awesome. Well, Tyler, thanks so yeah. much for chatting. Thank you. Now click on the bike to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss an episode. Or click on that red box to watch another episode right now. You guys want some? Random. Yeah. Patrick's interested. <laughs>